Ah, what do we have here? Dirt and gravel. Welcome, Royal Enfield, Himalayan. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and we have a new addition to the Anonymous Biker USA. That's right, the 2023 Royal Enfield Himalayan Adventure Bike. Got it in the lake blue. You see there? 21-inch front wheel. So you'll see I have the OEM handguards. So far I like those. I have the Jivy three-point mount system engine guards. The three-point is critical, gives it a lot more structure and stability. And I have these soft travel pack little side bags that are waterproof. Great for day trips, super easy. They just slide right on in a little pocket right back here on the rail. Makes it super easy with Velcro. Easy on, easy off. I have the pannier racks because I do have the Jivy Alaska Trekker bags, which I'll show you in another video. But overall, we're going to have a new addition, and we're going to be riding off-road. I got this bike. It's going to be 75% off-road, and the only reason the other 25% is not off-road is I have to ride pavement to get here. So, we're going to explore some off-road US FS Forest Service roads. And we're going to do maybe the Transamerica Trail, some BDR roads. But here it is, the 2023 Royal Enfield Himalayan. Now, I looked at a ton of of adventure bikes for months looked at the Africa Twin BMW GS Tiger 900 rode them all Pan America 1250 KLR 650 and ultimately I wanted a smaller bike easier to manage very capable and I didn't want to spend a lot of money I looked at the used market which was high and it came down to this Himalayan and the KLR650. So what made me pick this bike? Thousands of reviews and Himalayan, if you watched any of the videos, this bike, made in India, can tackle anything. I mean, their slogan is, no roads or any roads, right? So if you've seen people with far greater skill than me, they have ridden this thing in the Himalayas. And price, $5,550 brand new, uh, I added the extras because it was a free install at time of purchase. So, like I said, hand guards, engine guards, panniers with racks. Uh, it even has this nice dual USB charging port right there. Great for your cell phone. 
And I have a TomTom Tom Rider 550 GPS, which I've had, but it's hardwired to the battery, installed, super easy. The dash on this, super classic. Analog speedometer, tachometer, fuel gauge, gear indicator, your turn signals, basic, but it's exactly what I wanted. The windscreen does a formidable job, uh, but like I said, I'm going to be off-road, so at speeds of 20 and 30, it'll do more than enough on the highway. That's fine. Comes down to expectation. You know, what do you expect from the bike? I expect off-road riding, dirt, gravel, grind it out, reliable, and that's exactly what I'm going to get with this. If you're looking for something, highway speeds, fast, passing everybody, don't buy this bike. So what we'll do is just take a look at this quick. Just wanted to introduce it to the channel. The 2023 Royal Enfield Himalayan. And I'll do another video where we ride it off-road, we ride it on highway, freeway, all that good stuff. See what you guys think. So let me know in the comments below what you think. The 2023 Royal Enfield Himalayan. Thanks for watching. And don't forget. I am Anonymous Biker USA.